Now, in terms of similarity of these large, complex biological mo molecules that are manufactured by living cells, you know, it's probably likely that almost every molecule in a batch of, let's say, a therapeutic antibody, probably almost every molecule will be subtly different as a result of post-translational modifications like deamination, terminal lysine formation, glycosylation, oxidation, etc. Um, and some of these post-translational modifications are important, perhaps even clinically. Um, however, it's possible now to measure those attributes so precisely that you can come up with a panel of critical quality attributes to measure your product and compare it directly, head-to-head, -head, with the reference product and show that it's, you know, highly similar on all fronts, both uh, structure, function, binding to its target, activation of the immune system, all those things are measurable in the laboratory and are measured as critical quality attributes and compared head to head. And those data sets are provided to regulators in order to define biosimilarity. That's a requirement. You have to prove that the structure function is highly similar to the reference product. Moreover, you have to do comparative clinical trials to also show that it's uh, within the, a predefined equivalence margin in terms of response rates, et cetera, in oncology drug development.